Greeting to people of Fiji, including our local family members, customers, partners, and the community at large. My name is Daniel King, and I am the president of Grace Group in Fiji. At around midday today, the Minister for Home Affairs, Immigration, Honorable Piotr Kondodua gave a media statement concerning the six South Korean nationals being members of the Grace Group in Fiji who have been a target of removal from Fiji. Since then, Grace Road has been bombarded with questions from many business associates, colleagues, and well wishes on the circumstances leading up to and surrounding the Minister's statement. It is correct that two Grace Road members, namely Byung Jun Mi and Bam Sap Shin, have been removed, have been removed from Fiji yes and now. We have no prior knowledge and or information about the removal process and are genuinely surprised by the further stance by the police and immigration. Our lawyers have successfully obtained a court order last night to forbid the removal of two members and have since obtained the order to forbid the removal of the remaining members, including myself. We have further instructed our lawyers to take active steps to review the process undertaken by the police and immigration, which we believe is heavy-handed and subject to legal challenge. We find ourselves at a juncture that demands forthrightness and transparency. I wish to address this matter candidly, both to provide clarity to all of our stakeholders and to reaffirm our unwavering commitment to the value upon which Bracewood was founded. First and foremost, let me unequivocally say that we hold the highest regard for compliance with all laws and regulations, including those governing, governing immigration in Fiji. We take this matter extremely seriously, and we have at all times wholeheartedly cooperated with all authority to ensure that investigations are both comprehensive and impartial. From the outset, Grace Road has been dedicated to upholding the highest ethical standards in all of our business dealings, and we will continue to uphold these principles throughout this process. We understand that this investigation and removal process may raise concerns and questions among our local family members, customers, partners, and the community at large. I want to assure that our commitment to transparency and responsible action remains unwavering. We are dedicated to maintaining open lines of communication and we will provide updates as the situation unfolds. Our local family members are the lifeblood of our organization and their welfare is paramount. We are actively, actively collaborating with our legal counsel to ensure that all our local family members are treated fairly and in strict accordance with the law during the investigation. Our company continues to function without interruption and will remain steadfast in our support for our local family members throughout this challenging period. We value that trust that our customers and partners have placed in us over the years. Let's assure we are taking all necessary steps to safeguard the quality and integrity of our products and service and to minimize any disruption that may arise during the course of this investigation. Moving forward, we are committed to work closely with the relevant authorities to swiftly and judiciously resolve this matter. Our cooperation remains unwavering, and we are optimistic that a fair and equitable resolution will be reached. In the interim, I want to extend my heartfelt gratitude to our local family members, customers, and partners for their continued loyalty and support. Grassroot mission remains unchanged, and we are resolute in our belief that together we will navigate through this challenge. On legal advice, I will not be able to answer any question directly relating to the removal process, which is subject of the uh, said court action. 
or may become relevant to any new court action that our lawyer pursued. Thank you for your understanding and steadfast support. Join with me. Sincerely. Thank you.